everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing an awesome wooden fort in Minecraft and this is going to be awesome. You can do this right now in your world. It's not too big. It's perfectly starter worthy except for all the wood you're going to be chopping down, but that's fine. Just chop some wood. You can make this easy. I'll show you how to do it right now, but first let's check out the materials. All right, and here we go. We're gonna be using a mixture of a bunch of different woods just to make this look very, very cool. So we're going with oak, spruce, dark oak, and a little bit of stone along the way. Also, right here, these are the dimensions. So there it is, you see the blocks all laid out in wool. Count them out, set them up, and we're gonna get this started right now. Now also, if you guys want this seed and the coordinates, I'm gonna put it in the description. This is the perfect spot to build this little wooden fort. So right now, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a little bit of a wall from this little corner. This is gonna be our way in. It's gonna be a little tower. And then back here, we're gonna continue the wall. The main structure of the build is really right back here. This is almost like a little bit of a defense wall. So this wall, we're gonna be doing it out of three different logs. We're going with stripped dark oak, some spruce, and some oak. And we're all gonna lift them up for now by three only. So let's get this started. We're gonna do it right here. Let's start at this corner and we'll work our way around so i'm gonna just go with a mix so one two three of oak let's do three of spruce and then three of dark oak the strip kind and it doesn't have to be exactly in this order you can really go in any you can go with one or the other you can go with different uh blocks you don't even need to go with wood uh, so to just keep it going so once we get this little shape a two a three and a two here i'm gonna give it a two uh spacer here it's gonna be a little entrance we're gonna pretty much just use a little uh feds gate on that for this one we're gonna go with another two here or well a three up and we're gonna go another one right there so this is a little outline we have so far this little spot right here, we're gonna make uh, a tower, a very small tower. For right now, I'm just gonna do this out of spruce planks. So let's just go right from here, one, two, and three. We're gonna turn this corner, another two, and it's pretty much gonna be this little shape right there. Let's just leave that there for now. Let's take it up by three, so we can get an idea of how this starts out, and we're gonna texture this along the way. Now, from this box right here, we're gonna go right in this corner, right in the center, and we'll continue this line, so three, Let's go up by three, another up by three here. Take it out by one, and we're gonna curve this one out. So we can use really a mix. It doesn't have to be the exact pattern we're going with right here. And we're gonna take this all the way down till we get to the end of that line. And it's gonna go right here. Actually, let's, let's do a little dark coat. There we go. So it's gonna look like this on this corner. So a three, out by one, three, out by one. And then we're gonna have our outline for our structure here. Now, the cool thing about this structure, I want every section to have a different type uh, of wood to start it out, to make it look a little cooler. So, right now for this part, uh, let's just uh, go with this one. I'm gonna go with just dark oak planks for this section. So, let's go right here, right next to this wood, you see right here, this log. We're gonna go uh, take it straight in and then out by one. So, one and two. Let's go three, four, and five. So, a little five. Then one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna stop right here, but let's take this up by three to match what we did over there. So this is one, two, and three. And just wrap this all the way around. And we're gonna be lifting it up uh, as we go along. And we're gonna be texturing and adding all the details after. So do this from right now. This is how it's gonna look like so far. And now let's go with a different wood type. Here we're gonna go with spruce for this section. So right here, right next to this, uh, these planks, we're gonna go one, two, three. Let's take this one up four and five. Let's go up by five, take it out by one, go up by five. Now this count is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So technically right now, we're gonna do a little bit of like a seven by seven box segment over here and take it all up by five, just like that. Then we're gonna turn this corner, this is a one, so two, three, and four, and take this one all the way up to the fifth, right there. And then right here, we're gonna go with a separate wood, but let's finish first this little uh, segment. So we're gonna go back to this section, and right from this log, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Let's take it up one more time, up by five. And then here, we're gonna go another three, going this way and again up by five this technically would go wrapping around so let's do it from right here just to get an idea one two three and then one and two so it's a little segment right here we could bring this back down one two three so technically it's a little seven by seven box this one over here was a little five by five so we have these all separated in the different types of woods which is really really cool for now if you like just so you guys can see what it looks like i'm going to open it up later on let's just close all this out right here and we're going to make an opening in the center but right there little 
seven by seven box little five by five on this side so now let's do the diagonal this diagonal i'm going to be doing it out of oak now so we got dark oak we got spruce and now this one's out of oak so right here on this edge we're going one two three right here on this corner we're going to go up and this one's only going to go up again by three so one two and three now we're going fully diagonal till we get to the corner of this log so one two three four and five it's going to stop right here and then we're going to take this diagonally this way so another one two and three one two three another three here and then we're going to connect back to this section and if you notice it's an exact um, mirror job from here so from this block one two three and four right there so it should all connect to what we had outlined at the beginning now with this wood all right now it's time to texture so one thing i want to do is let's actually lift the dark oak one more so it's going to be a level of four we have the spruce is level five, and then this is only up to three for the oak. Now, for every wood type, I'm gonna mix in wood. So for this dark oak, let's come back in here in random spots and just go ahead and pop in a little bit of the dark oak in just random places, just like this. Uh, don't worry about windows, we're gonna add those after, but just to give it a little bit of texture, make it look a little bit more rustic and uh, worn in, we're gonna add that. Also, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the strips and just randomly pepper this around in certain spots. And it could be really anywhere you want. Uh, if you wanna keep it all one color uh, without the texturing, that's also fine. But for me, I like this, it makes it look a little bit more unique. Now for this one, we're also gonna be mixing in uh, with this spruce, uh, some of the strip spruce. It looks really, really awesome when you mix some of these together. Now, uh, right here, I'm also gonna be adding a fireplace. So I'll show you where to do that, uh, where to add that and where to put windows. All right, there we go. And now for the last, part here for the oak I'm gonna add a little bit of the stripped oak and this makes it look so good just a little bit uh, scattered around in certain spots like this would look pretty good and I think that's perfect all right, now we're gonna work on the roofing here. So let's do the roof and then we're gonna go ahead and lift up these walls. So first off, each roof is gonna look completely different, but similar at the same time. Let's start right now with the dark oak. For the dark oak uh, sectional here, I'm gonna go with an outer border of our spruce and we're gonna take this right from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Overhang that bit. Let's come back this way. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's make a simple roof pattern like so. Uh, just steps going straight up and then we're gonna get to the center point put a little upside down stair and a slab on top and then to connect this in the middle section here we're gonna be going with the oak regular oak so one two three four five take this all the way down just like so and we're gonna get this cool little look to it spruce uh, in the middle with the slab and we're gonna keep going back down now, each roof is gonna look different uh, but it's gonna have the same straight up and down roof pattern over here we're just gonna cover this up with our uh, our dark oak we can even mix in a little bit of the texturing we have here with the oak uh, well dark oak log right there actually let's make a little bit more yeah, that looks cool all right now for this roof we're gonna go with the same spruce so that's gonna be something that's constant we're gonna go with spruce uh, as the lining and then we're gonna be going with uh, the uh, a different uh, wood type in the inside. So the lining of our spruce is going all the way around. And then this is gonna keep going up, same simple roof pattern going all the way up till we get to the center point, which is right there. And then we're gonna come back this way with uh, the spruce. Once we get back to the center, once we get back to the center point, we get right here, we're gonna go ahead and put that slab on top and then over here we're just going to pretty much just mirror this going back this direction this is kind of kind of go over this roof that we had placed already and then once we get to this section upside down stair slab on top and then come back this direction and then once we meet in the middle we should join up right here in the center and then over here, we're just gonna connect everything with dark oak this time. So dark oak from one end to the other. And then once we get to the center bit, we're gonna go ahead and just connect that with spruce. So let's do this one really quick. All right, so the roof should look like this. Now, let's also connect on the inside here, just so it's covered up in a mix of regular spruce planks and then maybe a little bit of the strip just to give a little bit of texturing. And we're just gonna come in here and cover this part up right there. Oh, wait, hold on, one more, boop, right there. All right, now it's time for the diagonal roof. For this one, we're gonna go with slabs right at the corner, ending in this edge here, coming back out right here. Then I'm gonna put an upside down stair on this side, one on this side, and then continue the slabs on the outside like so. Then for the inside part, we're gonna keep going with the dark oak theme. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put just right here on the top part of those planks. We're gonna go with nothing but dark oak. Here we're gonna go with a double and a double. We're gonna go with singles going back this direction like so. Then we're gonna come back in here and double them all up. So let's go one and one on top, one and one on top like this until you get pretty much back to this line. Same thing on this side, we're gonna go ahead and double all of these up going this direction, 
like that. Then next up, we're going to come back on the inside and double these up. So we're going to double that up here, double that up, and that connects to that. We're going to come back this way, double this up, and double this up. Here, we're just going to put a single one on the bottom. Uh, you could, though, if you wanted to, get rid of this and double that up, but you have that weird gap. So I don't kind of, I don't like that. I'm just going to keep it like so. Then on this section, we're going to come back in here with spruce, and this is going to be the middle lining of spruce. So let's double it up right here, double, or put one on top. Then I'm going to pretty much just single it out. So I'll put one up here, one on top, and then on this one, I'm going to go one, two, oop, two, and three. So it should end like this, giving us a nice little curve. And then I can actually get rid of this guy and then double that one up so it keeps up that really nice lining going up to the back like that. That looks pretty cool. Then one more thing that I want to do is right here, uh, I'm going to get another stair and we're going to put one facing this direction, get one and face it this direction just to round off that edge right there. It looks pretty good. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is let's lift up this tower. For right now, we just have one, two, and three. Let's just bring it up with more planks. So this is three. Let's go four, five, and I'm going to stop at six. Let's take it all up by six right here. Let's swing this all the way around. I'm going to put a ladder to get up here too. So once we get to this, let's go ahead and work a little bit of a tower out, and we'll do the details in a second at the bottom. So really simple, just upside down stairs of our dark oak in every corner. In the middle caps, we're going to go with some dark oak slabs. It's going to go all the way around. Then I'm going to go with some full blocks on the corner bits, just like so. And then in the middle gaps, we're going to go with a spruce fence. On top of these full blocks, we're going to go with some stairs and we're going to face them outwards like this. And we have ourselves a cool little tower. And <laughs> it's awesome. It's a little bit of a watchtower. Then on top of these fences, I'm just going to go with some of the dark oak trap doors just to add a little bit more detail. It should look like this. Now, for down here, just to break this up a little bit, I'm going to come in here with random scattering of our uh, spruce right here, our strip spruce log, just in random places. You don't have to put it where I'm putting it, and you can go random with it. Uh, something like this looks pretty good, just to add a little bit more detail to this. Also, another thing you could do is bring in some steps and just randomly scatter it, just break it up uh, so it doesn't look so flat right there. Now, to get up in here, this is how we're going to do it. Let's get rid of this. One, two, three. Let's get rid of one, two, three, and three on this side. Let's go up one more. Then right here, I can go with a stair, one on this side, one on this side. Then we have a ladder to get to the top. So right here, we go one, two, three, four. Let's go with five. And on the top here, we're going to put a trap door. I'm going to go with a spruce one. And right there, you can go up and down from that corner. Also, if you want, you can add a little bit of a lantern in here. Now, the next bit of detail, I want to start raising up these walls a little bit in just random locations so it looks pretty good. So first thing I want to do is let's actually lift up these two. Keep those going. I'm going to lift up this one. Let's go random. I'm going to lift up this one here. And we can go every other one, but I'm going to make it uh, a little bit more random. Let's leave those down. Over here, let's go up on this one, up here. Let's take this one up. And we could actually take this one up if you wanted to break it out and keep it going. But I kind of like it flat like this. Uh, this one I can bring it up just like so. Then some of these, what are we going to do is let's add some slabs to some. Let's come around here. Let's add some trap doors to others. We can even add some fences here randomly like so. Uh, and just go ahead and play around with it. It all really depends how you guys want to set it up. But uh, I like adding just a little bit of randomness to all this. So something like this looks pretty good. A little trap door, maybe another one of those. Add a fence to this one, one over here. Let's go with a slab and a trap door. That looks pretty awesome. Now, another thing we're gonna do right here is add some stairs. Uh, I'm gonna go with a uh, uh, well, spruce one here, spruce one here. On top, we're just gonna add two of our trap doors. And then right here, really simple entrance, just with some gates. If you want it ultra protected, you can go with gates all the way up. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it just like that. Small little gate to get in. Now, one of the last bit of details that I really want to do to this roof is add a little bit of a campfire overhang. So I'm going to go right from this line right here and start putting campfires facing this direction all the way down till we get to the overhang and then come back down and we're going to add some to this level. So one, two, three, it's going to actually going to go right over this where we left that open perfectly. Perfect. Now, once we have that, let's grab our trap doors. I'm going to go with some spruce trap doors going all the way down this line and stop right here and then continue it on this side. So right here, one, two, three. Uh, and that's there we go and then two more on this side just adding a little bit more detail and overhang to that bit now another thing that i really want to do is add um right here a little bit of uh, an animal pen so for this one i'm going to add our fences let's actually go right from this line right here let's go one two three let's add one on this corner 
and let's add two fence gates right there. Then I'm gonna come back with our little campfire block and I go right from this edge, one, two, three, four. Let's go back again right here, one and two. And then here we're gonna add one, two, three, and four trap doors right there. And this gives us a little bit of an overhang. Just for more detail here, just a little bit more support. Uh, you can go with uh, some stairs right here. One on this corner, one on this corner, and then two slabs. And then behind this, a couple of trap doors right there, just to add a little bit more detail. And over here, you can put really any animal. I think chickens will probably look the best, but we'll set that up in a second. Besides that, we're gonna need a front door. So I'm thinking right here is the perfect spot. Let's actually knock down this little three by two. I'm gonna go with an upside down stair on this part, an upside down stair right here. And then we're gonna drop some trap doors, one and two, and one and two on this side. Just for a little bit more support over here, I'm gonna add a couple upside down stair, one on each side there, and then just some slabs here. Also a couple trap doors, one here, and one on this side. Just to add a little more, more support, uh, since this part is kind of overhanging and there's really nothing holding it up. As far as the door on the inside, I'm gonna go simple with some dark oak right in here. And I'm gonna cover this part up with some of the dark oak as well. So it looks like one big door right there. That looks pretty cool. Then let's add some windows. I'm gonna knock one window right here, get rid of this one, let's put an upside down stair. And I'm gonna go with it, just a clear glass. Over here, I'm gonna add a window in the center. And then let's add a full block on that side. On the other side over here, we can go ahead and put one, I think a small window would be fine right here. Let's actually knock down uh, one and two. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit higher, so a little elevated right here. And then we're gonna put our glass on this side. You can also add a couple trap doors on each side or maybe one side or the other. I'm gonna go with one single one. Now over here, we're gonna add a little bit of a fireplace. So right from here, let's count one, two, three. On this block right here, one and two. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Actually, I'm gonna lift it up with cobble. Let's take it up all the way until we get to the stair. Uh, here, I'm gonna go ahead and add two stairs on this section. Let's knock these two down, and then we're gonna keep going up. I'm pretty much gonna stop right when we get a little bit over that slab, right there. We're at the perfect level. I'm gonna drop two of these campfires, and let's go with the dark oak trap door on the top here. And then we can mix in a little bit of stone just to break this up going down. And I think that would look pretty good. Then we can actually give a little bit more detail to this section. So we put some random cobble on the floor. But then right here, I'm gonna go one level. Let's go one more up, so a little L. I'm gonna go with a stair here and one on the side. If you want, you could add some windows and details here, but you know what, I'm thinking right there, having a flat wall with nothing would be just fine. Over here though, I am gonna add a window just on the top. Let's get rid of just these two blocks right here. I'm gonna put an upside down stair right there. Let's throw a glass on the inside. And then here we can go ahead and get some trap doors and let's get some slabs. And I wanna go ahead and give this a little bit of a lining. So let's put a slab here, a slab here. Let's go with trap doors and a slab in the center. Just like that, just to break up that section. For this side over here, I think we're good, but I would like maybe just a little bit of a trim here. So what if we just put just trap doors right there? That looks pretty awesome. Then jumping back on this side, I really wanna put just one more window right here, just to mirror the window we have over there. And we have that in place. And on this side, I'm really not gonna put any windows. We can just decorate that with additional details. Now we're almost done. If you guys wanna keep this roof simple, plain, just like this, you're good to go. But if you wanna give it a little bit more detail, I'm gonna show you what to do. So I'm not gonna put any windows up here, and whenever I don't put windows, I wanna add a little bit more up here. So I'm gonna break this up with some full blocks and just random spots, something like this. Also I'm gonna bring in a little bit of slab action. Whenever I do that, I will pretty much hide it in the back. So something like this, and then hide a slab in the back so you don't see through. Uh, and this looks pretty good. Something like this would just add a little bit more detail. Uh, I'm gonna double that up and just randomly come in here. Uh, let's go with a, a couple full blocks on top. Maybe a, this, this is a slab and bring that over here to this side. Actually for this one, you might wanna take this down uh, on some of these, just like so in random locations, just like that. And then maybe in here, bring in some of the trap doors. But this is all up to you guys if you wanna add that little bit of extra detail to your build. Over here, uh, we're gonna do the same thing, but with uh, with oak. So we could do something like this. Maybe that could be a full block. Maybe this one could be another full. And let's make this one to a slab, something like that. And then yeah, it's gonna do this just around the area and see if I can make this look a little bit better. All right, there you go. That's looking really cool, really beat up, but very unique and awesome at the same time. So we have all this looking like this. Now, next up, let's go on the inside here and do a little bit of a crop field. A very simple one. I'm just gonna do out of uh, cobble and a little bit of stone. So let's start right from this line. Let's go one and two. Let's go one and two. Let's see if this one open. I'm gonna put one here and then one and two on this side. Let's go ahead and just do some slabs every 
other one going back and then we can maybe do a little bit of texturing here uh mixing in these uh different types of stones we can even put a little bit of mossy here just to break it up even more uh and it looks really cool we added that moss there look at that cool now in here really simple we're just gonna fill it up with crops let me do this real quick and there you go it should look like this in the end which is looking awesome now next thing i'm gonna do let's come back on the outside and i want to give a little bit more support to this structure right now it looks really good but it looks very clean very plain all right and check this out so that's looking really really awesome we even have a visitor over here wanting to check out what's going on uh, but we have uh, all the rocks piled up into the fort and it's looking awesome now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back in here and give a little bit more detail so what if we come back in here with some bushes i'm going to go with at least two different kinds of bushes uh we're going to go with some birch bush and we're also going to go uh with some of the oak bush over here uh and just scatter some around in just random spots just to make it look a little bit more alive uh, and maybe even back here we can go with a little bit of the campfire trick um, drop some campfires back here just an extra campfire on the outside it looks pretty good so something like this maybe even some wood here as well so maybe we could do like a little wood pile right here and then drop a couple campfires here there we go something like that looks pretty awesome and then we can continue with a little bit more bush on the outside uh also another thing we could do besides the bush we can add some grass we can add a little bit of, uh, of the ferns we can add some double tall flowers back here something like this is to scatter this around uh add some tall grass here maybe even just some random flowers so i'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way around also I'm gonna do some here on the front part so we can have a little bit of a flower garden on the inside. All right, and there it is, all done, all the details, all the way around, adding a little bit more life to the area. It's looking great. We also did it on the inside, so a little bit of a flower garden right there. Other things you could do to add a little bit more life over here, uh, maybe just a little barrel right here in the corner, adding some details, maybe even a composter. So whatever excess seeds you have, uh, you can just throw it in here and get some bone meal. You could do a little bit of a cover on this. Uh, you can really pretty much throw it anywhere. Uh, you can even use it on on the inside you can even put it right over here so maybe a composter here barrel on the inside throw that up here so we can have it open and close and if you want some extra storage maybe like a little bit of a chest right there would do great now for the chicken coop area we can add a little bit of detail what if we get rid of this block let's add water let's put a slab waterlog that uh, we can put an item frame with an egg on top let's just turn it here sideways and throw in the yellow horned coral fan we have ourselves a nice little nest there for your chickens let's throw some chickens in there and it will look pretty cool you could put really any animal in here but i think chickens would be pretty awesome let's put a couple right there in the corner it looks pretty cool all right now let's work on the interior so first thing we want to do is i want to separate these walls so let's go ahead and knock these down one two three one two and three and then right over here, I'm going to put some stairs. Put an upside down stair and an upside down stair. Have a nice little uh, little archway here. So it looks like this from this side. So we have this room. This is where we're going to put all of our storage. This is going to be our main kitchen area. And this is going to be our bedroom. So for the bedroom here, let's actually do this. Let me remove this. Let's put this here for now. Let's go ahead and do another little arch right here. So I'm going to have this open so you can just go through. And then here we could just drop a, a trap door. Wait, I have one right here. Put a trap door here. And let's just throw this trap doors uh, going all the way down. Have a nice little open feel to that. Then over here, uh, let's work on the bed. So let's grab a bed. I'm going to grab just a regular red bed. That's fine. Uh, let's drop this right on this section. Let's actually go one, two, and three. You got a big bed going uh, right here. So one, two, and three. Here, I'm going to put some barrels on the top. Let's go with barrels one, two, and three here. Uh, and then let's drop some trap doors. I'm going to go with the oak ones. Let's go one, two, and three right there uh, for this back part we can go with just a little bit of detail how about two trap doors and a slab in the center just like that that's pretty cool and then up here we can mess with the ceiling a little bit if you want uh, maybe bring these down a little bit maybe add a little bit more detail make it look a little bit more worn in something like that just to make it look a little more broken that's kind of cool we can also do it over here uh, let's come back in and just play around with it uh, let's see a couple slabs let's go with a slab around just like that it could be really anywhere you guys want to put it uh but just adding these little bits of detail just does the trick right here uh let's go with a couple i think right here looks pretty good don't make it look too patterny maybe something like that maybe it'll look a little rustic now over here let's knock this area down i'm gonna drop furnaces let's go with one and two levels right there i'm gonna go with an upside down stair of our uh cobble right here uh let's go one and two and let's go two down there then let's grab more barrels. We're going to put a barrel here, put a barrel on this side. Let's go with uh, right at this level. Let's go with two more barrels. Let's go with one barrel over here. 
I'm gonna go with a cauldron in the center. And then we can go ahead and add maybe some trap doors right here, one and two, to keep that lining going. And then we can do another one and two right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, back here, we can add even more stuff. Um, so we can even add, if you want, more barrels right here and continue with that theme and then go back right here. So we have even more shelving, which is pretty awesome. Some of these you can add uh, anything you want, really. Let's add some lights here, maybe some flower pots. We can also add uh, some sea pickles. I love a good sea pickle action here in the kitchen. Uh, let's also add uh, some brewing stands if you like in here, maybe even some extra chests in here. So let's go with maybe a flower there. Let's go with a flower right there, a flower pot. One up top, maybe one over here. Let's add a chest to one of these. Um, wrong chest, trap chest, I don't wanna blow it up. So maybe a chest on one of these. Maybe even, let's get rid of that one. Let's put a chest, actually sneak a chest in here in the back. Uh, let's put some sea pickles in some of these right there. Maybe even a cake in one of these also. Maybe like right here in front. This came out of the oven. Uh, and just randomly scatter stuff around here. And it makes it look really, really cool. I should go right up against the wall. One and one over here. Fence in the center and a pressure plate. Uh, let's go with a spruce one right in the center. We have ourselves a cool little dining room right there. Let's go with a mix. Let's go one, two, and let's go with some slabs and let's mix and match going down right here and on the top you know what i want to put i love adding greenery on the inside so why don't we add almost like a little bit of a overhanging plant uh coming around here maybe coming down like so and then up here maybe we can add a couple flower pots and then add some shrubbery here uh maybe a, an acacia sapling and a spruce one that looks pretty cool we can even hang this down all the way uh or you just play around it doesn't have to be this crazy something like that uh, looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, then we can add some paintings up here as well. So let's grab some paintings. I'm going to go with one on each side. Let's go with one right about there. And we can add maybe one on the bottom side over here. Like that's the same one. The same, hold on. The same one? Yeah, let's put the other one over here. <laughs> right there we go. So a couple paintings over here. Uh, also, oh, that's actually cool that we did that. We can actually break up the roof in here by adding some of these stairs in random spots but not not this there let's add uh, the spruce there oh hello let's add the spruce there just so it can look still similar from the outside so we can break these up just like that on the inside if you have any flat walls like this other things you could do is what well, was come on in the inside here i'm going to put a couple more trap doors here just like we can we did it right here on this side let's drop them over here and then over here for this section, this is gonna be our storage. Uh, it's gonna be very basic, very uh, simple. So I'm gonna go with some barrels just facing uh, this direction, one and two, then barrels facing this direction, one and two. Let's put them also over here. So one, two, one, two, just like so. And then grab our chest and do the same thing. Let's go one and two, and then one and two, one and two, and then one and two there. Uh, in the back here, let's add a crafting bench, and then we can also add uh, just a lantern to the back so we get some light in this area because you don't want anything bad to spawn. And this is super simple, uh, but it does the trick. On the bottom here, we could uh, give it a little bit more detail if you like, but I'm just going to keep it clean. Let's keep it clean just like that. Uh, this part right here, I'm going to add a trapdoor just so we can cover that exposed log there. If you want to add stuff back here, you could. Uh, it really is up to you guys, but I think right here, we have ourselves a nice little tiny starter storage. But there it is. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was so much fun to make. I love me a little fort like this. Let me know if you guys want to see a big version of this one or if you want to see other small fort style builds like this but in different styles. Let me know in the comment section and I'll see if I can get something done very, very soon for you guys. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you though on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.